oncology was just in its infant stages when I was choosing my specialty in medicine and realizing that over my career it would change the most. You know, everything is coming from our gains in the lab to start with. It really came down from the fact that, you know, the people in the lab are now able to reproduce genomic information very rapidly, very accurately. And this has allowed us to redefine malignancies based on their genetic drivers rather than just on what they look like through a microscope. So we've been able to take adenocarcinoma lung, which we used to think was one disease. Now we're able to say it's maybe 20, 25 different diseases, each one of which will have its own treatment. So when you can better subdivide the tumors and you can have a much better opportunity to treat them effectively. We've been using immunotherapy for decades, really, and we've known that certain cancers, such as kidney cancer, skin cancer, like melanoma, are a very sensitive immune system. We've also, I think, always known that the way we will ultimately prevail over cancer will be through our immune system. Our immune system is very powerful and does have the ability to destroy cancer cells. What we're finding today is we're able to develop drugs that actually target the cancer cells without targeting the rest of the body. The side effects are a lot less like a standard quote for uh, one of our five or six immunotherapies that are available today in the PDL1 or PD1 class uh, would be a five to 10% chance of autoimmune side effects, whereas in the past that was 80 to 90% of the patients would experience those side effects. You know, now I would say there's four or five cancers that we can cure that we could not cure when I started 20 years ago, or a little over 20 years ago. I think we'll also see patients living a lot longer and a lot better with cancer. Um, so I think in the near future, five years, that's going to be our gains, is going to be patients are going to live much longer and have a much higher quality of life. So we'll turn cancer a little bit into a chronic disease in many cases, and then the next step will be, I think, there'll be more cures.